Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another install video. Today we are working on the G35 and I'm installing a oil catch can. Now, a lot of you guys may know that these VQ35s are prone to burn a little bit of oil. Um, basically what it does is it recirculates the oil up in here into the intake, which is supposed to burn the oil off, but really all it does is make a big mess. Now there is a inlet here and there's another one you guys may be able to see. Let me zoom in here. Right down. We zoom in. Right underneath. Anyways, if you guys look on your car, you'll be able to see it right there. And basically, um, from what I've read on the forums, really this is the problematic line right here that spits a lot of the oil back into the intake. So what we are gonna do today is install, install the oil catch can. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So first and foremost, what you wanna do, we're, well, what we're gonna do is set our camera up here. And what you're gonna do is uninstall this line right here as you can see it'll be in a plastic fitting and then just uninstall this line right here once we have those lines off we got a little bit of oil there but nothing too serious so what we're gonna do is just find our position for our can and I've decided to put mine right here beside the what is this the power steering reservoir now the reason for this is because they want you they want this to be as low as possible so the oil can flow in and drain now as you can see it's already going up a little bit into the intake so a little bit of an incline not gonna kill you but I'm gonna put mine here now what I'm gonna do because this is just going to be a quick install for the time being, just zip tie it in and then I am probably going to build myself a bracket that bolts on here to the power steering bracket and loops around here somehow, but we're going to figure that out on a later now, date. I should have got some line. This is the line that they gave me uh, with the kit. I don't know why it's baby blue. It's kind of ugly, but what you want to do, I'm thinking I'm going to use this stock line right here just to go from this plastic connector into our catch can. And then I am just going to cut a little piece of this blue pipe here to connect it here. And I'm thinking what I'm probably gonna do is get some, uh, some gas line, cause I don't really like the color of this. I'm not gonna worry about it too much or the zip tie, cause right now, well, this thing isn't ready for summer. I just got it. I just need something that's functional. And uh, hey, when we get this thing ready for the shows, we'll worry about that when the time comes. So I'm just gonna put the camera down, do a couple of connections, and show you guys what it looks like when we're finished. And when it's all said and done, you'll have a system that looks like this. Coming out of the little nipple into your oil catch can, and then back into, I believe this is the PCV valve or something. Let me, you know, correct me down in the comments. Um, but one thing that I would recommend, what is this? Getting a bigger hose. I'm not 100% sure what size hose this is does not even say on it but when I go back to get a black piece of hose I'll make sure that I get one size bigger uh, just because this was kind of difficult to get over here now I am over the um, the little flare here so it's not gonna pop off but as you can see had a little bit of trouble getting those ones on there but we are gonna run her hard um, you know as is right now um, one other thing I'd recommend is just a zip tie to keep this up off of the uh, transfer case or what is this timing chain case you don't want that to melt and stuff like that even though this stuff uh, if you get a gas line it should be able to hold up to that heat so uh, that's about it man I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, don't mind the dirty engine bay once the warmer weather comes around we will make sure that we take care of that so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this if you found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, not subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, with that being said, I think we're going to put an end to this video. So I just want to say thank you all for watching, man. And uh, we're going to catch you all at the next one.